Hey everyone. When departing the boat in DCS World, I would guess that most of us simply climb out arbitrarily, go vertical, and or do the top gun roll. Can't blame ya. This video will cover the real world procedures utilizing the Hornet module while referencing the DCS supercarrier manual and the publicly available Naval Air Training Command manual for the T-45 Gossok dated 2014. Let's have a look at the different departure procedures. A case 1 departure is utilized when the weather is VFR, meaning the cloud duck is at least 3,000 feet above ground level and the visibility is at least 5 miles. Before departure, review the briefing page for TACAN and base recovery course info. Verify the carrier's TACAN frequency is set and on. TACAN is selected on the AMPCD. The BRC is set and the HUD altimeter is set to radar RDR. After departure, perform a clearing turn, climb to 500 feet, and continue to fly parallel to the BRC. As you climb to 500 feet, be mindful of your acceleration. 300 knots will come up very fast, so take the thrust levers out of afterburner and use the automatic throttle control ATC as needed to maintain airspeed. Maintain 500 feet, utilizing the autopilot if needed, and 300 knots until 7 DME from the carrier. Then climb along your planned route. A case 2 departure is utilized when the weather conditions are below case 1 minimums, but the cloud deck is at least 1,000 feet above ground level and the visibility is at least 5 miles. Prior to launch, set the assigned departure radial. This will eliminate the need to set it during departure when it can be busy. For this video, we will use the 045 degree radial as the assigned departure radial. Note that the BRC will need to be memorized, which happens to be 360. The departure procedure is the same as case 1 up to the 7 nautical mile mark. At 7 miles, turn left or right to intercept the 10 mile arc from the carrier while staying below the cloud deck in visual conditions. Intercept the assigned departure radial and begin climbing at 300 knots until reaching VFR conditions on top. The 500 foot restriction is lifted after 7 DME if the climb can be continued in visual conditions. If you are still in instrument conditions passing 18,000 feet, report Popeye for further ATC instructions. However, Popeye is not in the current communications list for DCS World. A Case 3 departure is utilized when flying at night or when the cloud deck is below 1,000 feet and the visibility is below 5 miles. Just like the Case 2 departure, set your assigned departure radial before launch. During Case 3 departures, there is a minimum launch interval of 30 seconds between aircraft. Following the catapult launch, climb straight ahead at 300 knots. Plan across 5 DME from the carrier at or above 1,500 feet. In this video, I used 2,000 feet as initially assigned ATC altitude. At 7 DME, begin a left or right turn to intercept the 10 DME arc from the carrier. Intercept the briefed departure radial and continue to climb as required by ATC until clear of the weather. Thanks for watching. 
If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Talk to you guys next time. See ya.